Yo, ho, ho. oh, Jason Eubanks and HIHBowling.com, hashtag hit it harder. Today, we are back with another bar review. We're going to be looking at the Scorpion Sting by Hammer, and I'm going to be bowling at Bolero, Kyrene, in Chandler, Arizona. If you want to support the channel, links are in the description. If you're a first time watcher, watch the last review. These reviews are like stories and one tells the story of the next. It's like an ongoing like saga, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're gonna check out the five shot challenge. The ball does not touch the lane until I press record and we learn these adjustments together. All right, so let's start the five shot challenge. Trying to be legendary, all this work is necessary. I hate to be the number two. I don't even like February. I'm someone that you can study, even take a photo. They work as hard as I do. One day you might be the logo. I'm so motivated, I'm so dedicated. I work this hard to be the best. I guess first place my favorite. You ever fall off, tell yourself to get back to the basics. I just gotta make it. I just gotta make it. Yeah. Hit it harder, yeah. Hit it harder, yeah. Hit it harder, yeah. Going harder, playing smarter, going farther. Hit it harder. Yo, yo, five shot challenge. <laughs> Just kind of show you what's out here. This is my first time at this location. So, this is the Supernova. Has nothing to do with what we're reviewing, just showing you the pattern that's out there. Okay. So I'll throw one more with that one. You can kind of see, you know, I can get something off the bank there. Back here. Cool, thank you. Go ahead, dude. Sorry, my son came with me. <laughs> His food just came. So. making sure he was situated. One more shot. Kind of see, we know where I'm standing, where I'm playing. Okay. So that was my supernova. Um, so now we're gonna go to my latest review. This, uh, you guys should have seen this review already if you're watching this video is going to be the Swagger Show Off. So this is going to be in line from what I'm throwing right now. Um, this is this ball's second and last chance. Because, um, yeah, in the review, it did not look great at all. So I'm going to move three boards to the right and see what we can get out of it. Okay, <laughs> you see that? So I'm gonna throw one more shot with that ball. Um, these, the, the ball we're reviewing and this ball drills exactly the same. This is a symmetrical pearl as well. And it is recommended for heavy oil, the swag show off. So let's re reset this here. And this is why it was kind of hard on them on that last review. Like heavy oil? Bruh, where? One more shot. What say you? <laughs> okay, I just said one more. One more, just to make sure I'm not tripping, right? So if you tell me a ball is made for heavy oil and this is what happens, there's no way, no shot. I, ca I can't let that ride. We're on camera right now. Now it's personal. <laughs> U.S. Open for $250,000. Jason Eubanks needs a strike. What will he do? There we go. See, so I'm not tripping, right? 
So that right there is the last time you'll see that ball go down the lane out of this hand. So now make it official. We're going to retire this out of here. All right. <laughs> so now time for our feature presentation. The Scorpion Sting. All right. Put the Jopo in. I have no idea what this ball is going to do. So I'm um, going from that to this is a complete shot in the dark. You see the, the supernova actually hooked, big A sim ball pinned down. These two balls are laid out the same, the swag uh, show off and this. So I think I'll move two back left because that ball was just nonsense. To, to give this ball a chance to do something. All right, first shot, five shot challenge. Okay. That one wrinkled, it hit the head pin. So, we'll go back to where um, that swag ball was. Cause that's even on the first shot. So now it has oil on the lane. I mean, oil on the ball. It, it, it showed signs of it wanting to hook, just didn't. So this is exactly where I was standing for that swag ball. This should be 10 back if this ball is worth anything. And I tugged it too. So tugged it in the oil and it came back. So same place, but we'll just try to get a little bit further right. <coughs> See, you can tell it's like, bro, if it's doing that on some stuff, it's like I knew I wasn't crazy. Another ball with the head pin three consecutive times. It's like, sorry, I'm not playing up five with a 600 rev rate on a fine China. Shot three, that's gonna wheel. Thank you. See? Like, these two balls are laid out exactly the same. As I said, that was shot number three. So when people tell me, oh, give it another chance. No, I can tell in the first few shots what it's gonna do. Am I on tour? No. Do I have eyes? Yes. Have I been bowling forever? Yes. <laughs> Competitively since 1989. So I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> so this is shot number four, five shot challenge. And I tugged it. So I didn't get it far enough right as I needed to. So that's the fourth shot. Because it, it shouldn't take that long to get into the pocket. You know what I mean? First shot was a complete whiff. Just because symmetrical and the pattern that's out there. Move right, make adjustment. Then I'm in the pocket. I'm in the hole, hitting the head pin. Four pins, nine pins, ten pins. You know what I mean? It's like, give me a shot to succeed. Last shot, five shot challenge. That's it. Okay, so you guys just watched the five shot challenge. Looks a lot better than the last one, right? Like, so. <laughs> We can put all that layout stuff to bed. We can put all the, oh, bad pattern to bed. Yeah, kill all of that stuff. So the edit picks up directly after the five shot challenge. So I'm either still striking or I'm still trying to figure it out. We will just have to see. The music that you hear is produced by your boy, yours truly, Mr. You.
Banks, Patreon members and YouTube members, channel members. Um, this beat will be in the folder. It is called In the Fast Lane. A little cool, mellow, casual, you know, like throwback. Hope you guys enjoy that. All right, so let's check out the edit. Okay, so you guys just watched the edit. This was a lot less stressful than my last review. I saw my best success with it actually was to start where I was able to keep it in the middle part of the lane and keep my angles closed and tight. <laughs> as soon as that burned out, you kind of had to get left. You still had to get it through the oil to the friction for it to not overreact. So if you're not comfortable kind of just letting your ball skid down the whole lane and just corner at the last minute, this isn't the ball for you. Think about it like this was, you know, a pretty fresh house shot and it looked pretty good on the fresh. Like with the five shot challenge in the first seven shots, I'm in the 260s, right? So you can't go wrong with that but it will have you opening up your angles quite a bit as you burn that spot in the line. It's a lot cleaner than the last one, gets further down lane, so keep that in mind. All right, thanks for watching.